This is what happens if Alex uses his own face as a guide image during that optimization process to reconstruct my own face. We're starting with just a picture of clouds. And as we optimize, basically this network is figuring out what it sees in the clouds. You can also uh, use the face network to hallucinate into this, and you get some pretty crazy stuff. Or um, Mike has done some other experiments in which he takes that cloud image, hallucinates, zooms, hallucinates, zooms, hallucinates, zooms. This is a portrait of writer Charles Dickens in 1842. This is his character design. But we also like to have a handbag to go with the character. There you go. The texture is propagated to the entire sketch. And this is great. And all of the processing is happening in real time on the laptop. We actually have object detection running on a phone. We present an approach for automatic creation of a personalized, high-quality 3D face rig of an actor from just monocular video data. We synthesize mouth texture. And what you should know is that, thanks to the Affordable Care Act, you can't get charged more just for being a woman. I visited with the families of many of the victims on Thursday. We apply the same input speech mapped to four different target videos. Note that all four are synthetic and have different lighting conditions. Auto clean energy and the infrastructure that creates good new jobs. Not to mention the job training that helps folks earn new skills. Yes, what you're looking at are images created just by a written text description. It uses one neural network to generate images and another neural network within the same system to decide if the images generated are real or fake. In this work, high-resolution images of imaginary celebrities are generated via a generative adversarial network. This is an architecture where two neural networks battle each other. So we can clearly use them to create 2D images, but why stop there? Why not use this technique, for instance, to create assets for digital media? So instead of 2D images, let's try to adapt these networks to generate high-resolution 3D models of terrains that we can use to populate a virtual world. This one is about image translation, which means that the input is an image and the output is a different version of this input image that is changed according to our guidelines. For instance, an image of a city can be translated to a map of this city or a daytime photo or video can be converted to appear as if it were shot during the night. And throughout the video, you'll see so much more of these exciting applications. This work is about performing useful image restoration tasks with a convolutional neural network with an additional twist. If you feel that this ancient artwork is sorely missing a Captain America shield, this new technique is able to do it seamlessly. Users were mostly unable to identify whether the painting was tampered with. So what about an AI-based technique that looks at a small patch and automatically continues it in a way that looks natural and seamless? <laughs>